So over the years, I've been getting tired of having to plow snow in my driveway. So I decided that we would stick this Percomax snow blower onto my old Kubota. And here you can see me getting it pulled into the shop so I can kind of see what I'm going to be doing. Now part of this is recorded audio that I'm doing now. The other part is audio by video. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my plan for how I'm going to get rid of snow this winter in Montana. So I bought this 48 inch Perco snowblower from my foreman. I haven't seen it run yet. I don't have a four wheeler or a side by side, so making a mount to the bucket on the tractor, I think is going to serve the best purpose. And I think I will build a subframe or something so it can attach directly to the bucket and that way I can remove it easily so I can go back to using the bucket. But first let's hook it up to a battery and fire it up and make sure it runs. All right this is uh, officially the first time I've started it so let's see if it works. So I think the first thing we're going to do is just unpin this uh, whole assembly here, drag it out, and then I can get the tractor pulled up and see how much kind of clearance I'm going to have. So the thing I'm worried about is how far this thing's going to stick off the front. I also don't want to unpin the bucket to have to pin the blower on. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to notch this out. Nice thing though, I found this hanging out in the shop. So I can disconnect power to the unit really easy. And the control unit got plenty of cord to get it to where I can reach it easy. I'm kind of thinking if need be, I can take and notch the top of the bucket. This was definitely added on and I mean, it's kind of mediocre and Do me a favor. Well, I'm kind of stuck for the night. I'm going to take some pieces to work and get them cut and drilled, and then I will be back here. Well, it's cold, and it's been raining all day, and as you can see from the last clip, I have to mount the snowblower right up on the loader. So, I made some decisions. Well, 
Well, after some debate, I decided I was going to build my own quick attack system. Now, if you see the little bend down here, I had already tested it and broke my front end loader. There was just a little bit too much pressure. So, after cleaning everything up, I welded it back together. And after, I cleaned the other side of the loader and welded it back together also. You'd be surprised how little material was actually holding this on. So, threw some black paint on there, just to help keep things from rusting. You got a three-quarter lower pin and a five-eighths upper pin. Here, I just wanted to test the rotation of it. And, I'm sure you can see what's in my mind at the moment. And that's, uh... Well, the timing of this is a little off, so I'll have to connect those together at some point. So the quick attach piece for the snowblower, it's pretty easy. It's made of angle iron, a small piece of channel cut in half, and just a half inch piece of fold roll. Down there that gives the pin something to basically lock up against. I kind of came up with this idea on the fly and definitely has its imperfections, but you know, for just keeping the snowboard on, I don't think it's going to be bad at all. And here's the other side all panned down. And what I'll do is I'll connect those together with the snowblower. So here, I was just kind of eyeballing things. I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for clearance. You can actually see that the top tube I cut. Because, uh, yeah, I needed to have an angle. So that's three inch square tubing, quarter inch wall, and it's definitely enough to lift this thing, which kind of surprised me because this, uh, this snowblower I believe is 430 pounds, and the front end loader is really only realistically rated for I think 500 pounds. And somehow, you can even lift it when I'm not on the track. So here's kind of a close-up of the quick attach. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. So hopefully it snows here soon so I can, you know, take some video of this thing working and you all can enjoy that. So if you want to see that, please, uh, please subscribe, you know. I'm going to try to be making more videos of better quality, too. The problem is, is they're only going to come out by half its chance. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hopefully it snows, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Have a good night.